Hey everybody, Orpheolus here. Welcome back to some more Food Ami and Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we did a lot of side quests. That had a lot of anime style titles involving cooking. Thankfully, no use of the sensor bar was needed. This time, we're gonna be doing- we're gonna be finishing up side quests. Yeah, this is the last side quest video at long last. We are almost done side questing. So yeah, yeah! This time, we're gonna finish up our side quest. So, starting things up, we're gonna be doing side quests, mostly involving, um, very jammy. So, the first thing we need to do is, uh, talk to Noppo. Okay, up here in the farm. During the, during the morning hours, you can talk to Noppo Krish. Not, not for Reg. I feel like a muffling headfirst into an ether lamp over and over. Please, 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 I need your help. They might expression, this is the matter that bothers them. Yeah, let's go, um, tell them what's wrong. Now, don't you tell me. You, you forget the great flavor you did for me. Did me. After you found me, I went back to say hello to her. And before I knew it, I'm back to square one and under her wings. She feed me awful food. My life's a living nightmare. She strokes and pats me non-stop and makes me sleep on her bed. The worst being when I ha when I have to carry a shop in like a pack armel. She treats me like a servant. I can't bear it anymore. Helps me wins my freedom back. And I appreciate that you I'm still young and not world worldly wise. But this is how Nopon treated back in the Imperial Capital. Spot on lady, it'd be terrible. To me it seems like she's just being a little overprotective. Maybe some middle-aged Nopon li like to be treated as pets. But I don't want to be one of them. I feel as that she's been mocking me. So please help the guy in need. So you have looking for freedom, collect some smelly perfume from the poison swamp in the Satoral, or perhaps. Okay, my plan is simple. I need smelly perfume. If I smell so unbearably bad, she'll not she'll not let me be in the house. But she must keep the sec this a secret. Do not tell him the Krish. I'm a bad person. So we're gonna give it her all. And that being, there's two ends of the side quest. For the side quest, you do get the better ending. Well, a uh, better affinity outcome if you talk to Makrish. It's weird, but it works. So we need to come up here and talk to Makrish somewhere, or where are you? There you are. Hi there. Have you perchance seen Nop Grish? Nop Rick? I can see from your face that you have. Tell me, please, what is he doing? One, explanation not related to anime. Later. So that's where Nop Grish is planning. And I have a plan for him. Do you think you can go get me some pure perfume? Its scent is magnificent and the complete opposite of his. If you can give it to Nop Rick, his plan will be foiled. So, yeah. So, to find this, we need to head to the Great Magna Falls. Thankfully, it's not too much of a swim, but it's still a swim. Alright, starting here from Magna Falls, we're gonna go make our plunge. The location we need to go to is that island down there. You wanna get this done now because the later side quest makes that island difficult to get to. Really difficult, actually. And it makes that uh, approach the island difficult, so we need to swim all the way over here. Thankfully, it's not as much of a swim as going all the way over there. This swim is like a minute, I think. It's not too bad. Which is kind of great. So, I don't really have much else to really say here. Just so we're almost done with side quests. Thankfully, because once we get this done, we'll be done with side quests until next time. I mean, there's other... Colony, there's other colony six side quests now, but um, we could theoretically get them now, but I want to save them for much later on. It's considered the uh, colony six weirdness. Also, uh, it appears that this island's just floating on the water, and the water just seeping underneath it. I ain't no um, uh, hydrologist, rockologist, no geologist, but uh. I don't get how, how water is just flowing through here and not just making like waves, waves or anything. 
Oh, I'm just questioning video game logic. Probably one of the most fail things you can ever do. So, down here, honey rhubarb, and most importantly, pure perfume. So, let's go get this Napa Grip. But before heading out, I forgot something from last episode that I just remembered that I have a bad habit of doing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to our skill branches because last episode, Ryan got impatience. Forgot to show this, but impatience, his skill's getting it. Battleton boosts Madton's effect on non targeted enemies. Mm -hmm. Melee Champion grants haste to the party when an enemy is defeated. That's pretty good. Rampage increases chance of a double attack. Really good. Speed Strike grants haste buff when an, when an attack misses. This, this is really good, especially to some of the higher monsters because if you decide to take a monster at a significantly lower level, that could be pretty good. And finally, Channeled Pain builds talent gauge when damage is taken. Um, that would be really good for Dunban, Shul, Camellia. Right, not necessarily because his talent art increases really, really fast. I mean, unless you want to go use um, Magnum Charge. That's actually really good for Magnum Charge. Might help if I actually put you down the right path. Duh. You know, I'm going to go keep you on Field of Pain. So, let's go talk to you. No, you're not going back. I see as you have what I need. Huh? Wait a minute. It smells good. Hmm. If you be sure it works, then I will use it. I shall go pamper myself and put this plan into action. I will be soon. I'll. S I will soon be free. Make sure you go see my church later on. She hopes. She need. She wills needs a shoulder cram when she rejects me. Farewell and wish me luck. One perfume parlor later. And he's gone. So upon returning up here, uh she needs nope, there she is. Hi there. Everybody smells like nature's intended. Thank you for handling him the handing him the wrong perfume. Now I can cuddle him and snuggle him forever and ever. I don't know what what the bother is with living with different people. I believe that it's beautiful being harmonious with everyone. Well I hope I have some help. I'm ever so happy. This is the best day ever. And I, and I have you people to thank for my happiness. So we have completed looking for freedom. He's going to be around here. So yeah. So next quest. Alright. For the next side quest. What we want to do is come down here. To this area. We're going to make things. And I, do believe, I know that we have to go up here. This next side quest. There's two options total for it. It all depends on well who you invited. Right here we have Narara. Narara is studying how to cure her friend's illness. But Narara have a big problem. Uh, could you go into more detail? She'll go into no two. Let's go to the bottom of this. Mephi Mephi have a wacky theory that Narara friends will friend here with curse. Narara did not believe her, but Mephi Mephi more experienced. So Narara want friends to help Mephi Mephi. If Mephi Mephi correct Narara's friends in big trouble. While Narara is friends away, Narara will continue to make medicine. Finding a logical explanation for this illness is the best thing. It's strange for a scientific minded person to be considering curses. Narara agrees with Shulk. Mephi Mephi sounds so sure. She always so sure. Friends must help her. So we have cursed Mephi Mephi. This is mutual with weak Mephi Mephi. You talk with Ryan, this is. It all depends on who you invite. If you invited Mephi Mephi, you would um do this. And if you start with uh, if you invited Perrin, you would be talk with Perrin. Please find Mephi Mephi next, and ask her what to do next. Thank you, friends. Okay, leave it to Ryan. So, location and place we need to go to is right here at night. On this room area, we have Mephi Mephi. Nora told me her friend is sick. Her friend is very sick. She said, correct. The friend not like Mr. Sun anymore. Mephi Mephi knows the reason why. Nora's friend is cursed. Mephi Mephi knows the lift curse from Nora's friend. A fragment found where Mr. Sun rarely visits is key. It's called the Statue Fragment, and, and the place is Satoral Marsh. It's found in high up place where Soror's statues stand. Yeah, I kind of accidentally got this a long time ago. It's along the side. So the location you would have to go to would be along the uh, northern ledge. 
We've been there several times anyway, so... That's it, friends have it. Now power Mr. Sun get weak and Nora's friends' cur curses be lifted. Take it to Norara. Okay, 12 hours later. Okay, Norara, you got your thing done. Good timing, friends. Norara, I'll finish with medicine. All Norara needs to do is mix ingredients with medicine. Friends, wait here. One, mixing joke later. Wowie, medicine twice as strong now. Mephi Mephi is bright, brilliant scientist. Friends can drink this anytime and it cure friends of illness. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad everything worked out. I'm very grateful for this too. So upon completing that, we get lock and resist 4, which is nice. So, next quest. Alright, our next side quest is Ricky can come to the picture. He's the quote here, but we're gonna need um, Dunban also. Friends, come here. Nora are grateful for medicine, but Lazy Bones buried Jamie no drink it. Nora made medicine taste nice, but she still refuses to drink it. Very Jamie is not getting better. That is indeed a problem. So let's throw this out. Nora worried for Barry Jamie's life. Can friends persuade her to drink medicine? Ricky know what to do. Barry Jamie from the same village as Ricky. And you will help Barry Jamie, please, friends. You have to. So we have obstinate Barry Jamie. Convince Barry Jamie. Nora thinks one person not, not enough to persuade her. It's best to have lots of people try to talk to Barry Jamie. Nora uh, already tried lots of ways to make Barry Jamie drink, take it. No problem, consider it done. So let's do it for the hero pawn. So you can talk to you can talk to Barry Jamie with everybody, but the person you want to talk to her with in order to continue the side quest is Dunban. You'll get no, I don't want to actually Ricky has a funny quote. So out here at the evenings we have Barry Jamie. I think Ricky's is funny. Barry Jamie, listen to hero pawn. Barry Jamie must drink medicine, or else big trouble. People worry about Barry Jamie. Rara, Ricky, and family too. That's why Barry Jamie drank it now. Ricky, not Barry Jamie's daddy pawn. Barry Jamie seems as Ricky's little pawn back in village. Naughty and spoiled. I thought it was funnier. Scared, huh? Little one, drink your medicine. If you don't, how can you enjoy the, uh, the outside with your friends? Barry Jamie like you! Ha ha man, cool! The medicine might not look nice, but I assure you it tastes good. And many people went through a lot of hard work to make that medicine. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, hum hum sir! Barry Jamie will be very good not pun and drink it all up. Barry Jamie drinks it all up for medicine and gets all better. Well, that was easy, so let's go turn this back into an Aurora. She took her medicine. It's a miracle. Barry Jamie will definitely get better if she takes it every day. Now, now she build up her immunity against illness and be well. Don't worry about it. It was nothing. Yep, yep. No problem for Ricky neither. It's not long before Barry Jamie can play outside with Aurora. Aurora can't wait. So we've completed obstinate Barry Jamie. Oh yeah. Next quest. That involves Barry Jamie. Okay then, so right here we have Berry Jammy. Medicine tastes yum yum. We want more and more. Be friends, bring Berry Jammy more medicine to drink. Hmm? You seem troubled. Yeah, it looks like you might have an addiction. Berry Jammy better be busy with drinking Nora's medicine. Go get Berry Jammy some more. Ah, I see. I think we might have here is the most spoilt knob on of all time. Medicine work on Berry Jamie! It's sweet and yum yum and makes Berry Jamie feel strong! Berry Jamie feel on top of the world! So we have Unstoppable Berry Jamie. Either discuss Berry Jamie's condition with Noir or give her some of Olga's medicine. Berry Jamie can buy medicine from Olga's chemist shop now! It's all thanks to my friend Norora. She's brilliant. Ah! But do not tell Norora about this. Not good if she knows. Berry Jamie get in trouble. No problem, consider it done. So we can kind of obviously see who might be the better option. Can um, continue the drug craze or um get 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 some help. Yeah, the latter is probably better because it's not best to be dependent on drugs. So we need to talk to Norara. Very Jimmy take too much of her medicine all at once. No, not good. 
They're supposed to take it once a day and not anymore. She'll get very bad reaction from it. Nora needs caterpillar vinegar from Central Marsh. Nora will tell friends reason later. First, go bring Nora item. Okay, just set to roll again. Okay then, starting out here from the uh, further north statue. Um, caterpillars in question are going to be right in here. You can find them outside Exile Fortress. They're pretty easy to do. Let's get this done. Alright. That's pretty nice. We got things needed. Let's go get back to Narara. Alright, Narara. You got your things. So Did friends get juice? Perfect. Narara makes medicine up now, so friends wait here. One. Detox later. Take new medicine to bury Jimmy for Narara. Narara made medicine weaker, so now it not have bad effect on her. And a very, very bitter, so she not drink too much. Thank you, friends. Okay, so we got the bitter potion. Eh. Well, let's get this back to bitter, Jamie. Got your stuff. Friends, bring medicine. Yay, bitter, Jamie, drink it up. When? Detox later. It's too weak. But maybe it better tasting like this. Last one's too powerful. Don't worry about it, it was nothing. Yeah, we did it. Really, Nora made it for Berry Jammy. Nora knew Berry Jammy needed medicine without even telling her. She's so nice, Berry Jammy. Thank you, friends. And we've completed Unstoppable Berry Jammy. Berry Jammy have big fight with, with, with Wing Hair Know It All. Berry Jammy have no idea what silly bring. Oh, wait. Wing Bring Girl saying. Meh, 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 meh. Okay then, so it turns out we started the side quest, but um, we need more affinity going on. There we go. All you gotta do is talk to someone. We were just on the borderline to getting that uh, side quest started. Okay, so that works out. So, you wanna make sure you have three and a half stars. I've been winning this for a long time. It sucks, but that's how the rules of nature are. So, upon doing that, we can come down here. And, it looks like Barry Jamie has something. Barry Jamie's been waiting for friends for ages and ages. Friends need to find the most transparent object in the world. Quick, go, hurry up, run, move. Did friends find it already? Frick. Barry Jamie, Barry Unlucky, now I mix up in competition. Competition for title of most undisputed Miss Sweetness of Colony 6. Now I need the most transparent item in the whole wide world to win. Ah, uh, I was hoping to get out of the anime business. Darn it. Wow, this crisis, yes. Very Jemmy not interested in who is best in colony. Very Jemmy represent all not fun though, so cannot abstain. Very Jemmy needs friends' help. Please! Very Jemmy makes sure she represents all not fun well. Ricky's friends will help. Very Jemmy win competition. Thank you, friends. Very Jemmy do the not fun proud. Ah, uh, Ricky not able to decide on his own. Ricky talks to friends and we decide together. Please. All right then. So we need to collect the world's most transparent thing. And upon starting this, we'll get another side quest. Okay. So upon doing that, we need to talk to Little Lapa. Little Lapa knows lots and lots. So we get ourselves the most transparent thing. Speak with Little Lapa in front of your village, which we shall. Hey, Lil Lapa. Friends looking for most transparent object in the world? Hmm. Not an adventurer going to Valak Mountain. Wait, he not adventurer, he researcher now. Anyway, he know most about what you need. But the researcher Napa will not come back for a long, long time. Search for him hard enough and maybe you'll find him alive. Might not, though. Napa must apologize, he not know anything helpful. So when you head to Valak Mountain, head to the Napon camp. Okay, Dick Cuckoo, do you know anything? Most transparent thing in the world. I know. How about pure ice flower? It grows near here. It's covered in ice, so, so really transparent and really beautiful. There we go, so we got that. Well, so when you have anything else to say, oh well, so we need to head upwards. We've seen it many times before. We need to head here, we need to head up to the Yuri Crevasse. 
Alright then, up on top of here, the location we need to go to is right around this bend. And while we're here, there's another thing I want to do. I forget about another unique monster. We're... Up here is where we fought North Star Garrison at night. But there is another unique monster we can fight here that I forgot about. Also at night, but not necessarily here. Also, that tower really is huge. I just put some perspective on things. So, right here we get ourselves. There's a flotsam flower here. It's see through like glass. So, we get ourselves the pure ice flower. And we complete the most transparent thing. And the object's still here. Next up, I'm gonna meet you guys near the bottom of Valak Mountain. To be exact, I'm gonna meet you guys right here on Igna Hill. Alright then, so yes, we're kind of in the area we need to go to. The location for this next unique monster we need to go to is up there. Only at night, this unique monster is annoying and hard to fight. I decided to wait till now to fight it because, well, A, we're just going to cream it. And B, we're in, the, we're in the neighborhood. Yeah, I didn't want to fight him because this unique monster is level 50 and it has a lot of ether attacks. It's an annoying unique monster to say the least. So... We're gonna head up, head up this way. We don't want to follow this all the way up here. Thankfully, this girth, this girth is a whole lot wider than uh, an annoying ass location known as the. Uh, I forgot what I'm gonna say. And you kind of know I'm. You might know what I'm going at. Might not the. Um, Conda Peak. There we go. So coming up here, besides Shooting Star, we have ourselves an Anzel coming up. A lot of Anzels, and if we make our way high enough up. If it'll spawn. What are you, mate? I know you're up in here. There we go. Right up here, we get ourselves Hidden Gamigan. Hidden Gamigan is an annoying geek monster. Simply because it has a lot of ether style attacks. It's like burn on you, so counter that if, when you can. I think the hardest part about this battle is all the uh, camera. This game does not like this camera that much. So it's kind of an odd location where we go to. So let's go apply all the abuffs that we can. And Flame Breath. Ugh, this doesn't hurt. Okay, we resist a bit, thank goodness. Yeah, resist is the same thing as a miss. So we're getting there. This battle's not too bad. It's on your high enough level. Just know that he has a lot of ether cell attacks. It's like Steve Ross. So that's gonna suck, but we got ourselves a chain attack ready set to go. Fancy sword drive. Let's do this. And I guess. Ooh, times four. Well, that's something for a little bit more. Then again, Ricky isn't on first power. But, we got our chest that we need to get. Air Slash, nice. I'm definitely going to be teaching that to Shulk. And I guess I'll meet you guys with Barry Jammy. Okay, Barry Jammy, I got it all cleared up. The friends bring Adam to me? Barry Jammy was sure friends would give it fake, would give me fake Adam or worse. I'm afraid friends give Adam to Barry Jammy's tall, elegant rival. Thank you, friends. Barry Jimmy hates bullying and loves medicine and like friends. Me thinks being me weird. But Barry Jimmy's so pleased friends could get her items too. That's more important than winning some stupid competition. Yeah, yeah, happy. Ricky really happy. So, the undisputed the sweetness of calling six offers her thanks to you. Yay, so we completed the side quest. So, that only leaves one side quest chain. There's a little bit more of the quest chain, but we need more affinity, and affinity is kind of weird in this game and how things work and their timings. Though while most side quests are available now, it's weird timing. I'm just going to go hop on your food. Next up, location we need to go to is... Well, we need to return to Frontier Village for the last side quest. Alright, for this next side quest, um, I was kind of misinformed. We need to talk to, um... Kuruku. Me? So, upon talking to her, we need to return up to the Archaeology Center. I was kind of misinformed. Okay, I kind of derped there. 
That string in the side quest is kind of weird. In fact, the entire side quest is weird because... Well, we're going to see in a little bit, but... We're going to return right down here and come up this ledge. And you should have a side quest for us if you weren't running. Get back here, butt sheepy. Me! Let her ride from down upon. Oh, uh, please tell me more. Tell me it's something not bad. Better say that upon some mystical empress. Catch it, catch it. <laughs> um, but cheap I want empress. Hmm, I read about this empress in a book once. But I always thought it was just a made-up creature. What are you going to do with it? If you catch one, eat it. Friends mean mean try it in oil or steam it with polynorb. No, friends being silly. You can't eat empress. But she told Pippiki and Kuruku about that upon sea empress. Pippiki and Kuruku. Sorry, Kuruku say no such thing as Empress. They say it's just fairy tale. That opponent would never lie to Pe Pachipi. Okay, friends, catch an Empress so everyone believes Pachipa. So we have it, definitely exists. Ask Kuruku where the Empress lives. Yay, no one will call Pachipa a liar anymore. But Pachipa will lose that upon's letter, so go ask that upon about it. Okay, I'll give it my best shot. So when you head to the bonus leg. Okay, Garuga. Perhaps you want proof that Mystical Empress is real? Mystical Empress is real. My village little pond not believe. Seen Winnie Cave jump down big hole near Zack Sky Post to go. The Mystical Empress is legend, proof very difficult to find. Garuga, no, if you bash Arachno and ask you can get her ornament. That should be all the proof Petshiba needs. Okay then, so look at we can go to. I've been dropping down here every once in a while. The reason is because fire tarantulas. They're easily found in this little manhole that we need to go to. It's a good location to get some of the rare items, so I've been hopping down here getting the items where we need to go. So, yeah. And it's a good thing to go to, is right down in here. I don't really like to second as much because of the uh, implication that we need to do it. So, upon jumping down here in the bottom, right here we get ourselves the Daughter Empress. Don't get careless. So, this should be pretty easy. I don't care that we're in the red. So, we get ourselves the Empress Ornament. Pretty easy. And inside this chest, we should probably get a Iron Antle Fiber. So, let's go where we need to go. Wait one second, friends. Where is Mystical Empress? Is Empress so small that Chupa can't see her? So friends did not see Empress with their own eyes. Too bad. What well, friends found Empress ornament? That must mean Empress exists. That upon was not lying. Oh, we're relief. Another problem solved. Let's tell Kruka and Pippiki. So upon completing that, we got ourselves a Zack Gutter, which I'm going to toss because I don't need him. So for the next part and final part of the side quest. It is kind of dumb. I was ready to say the final part of the side quest is dumb. Location we need to go to is back with them. Um, Wait, before we do that, before we do that, we want to change things before noon. Next quest prerequisites is dumb. So, we need to talk to you, um, Pachipa, me and Pippiki drew a picture of Empress. Pachipa used pink, Pippiki used red. Empress looks so strong and scary, grr -ha! So, we need to return to the bionis leg. This next side quest is really dumb. The reasoning is, in order to trigger the side quest, you need three and a half stars. In order to even trigger the side quest in the Colony 6 area. What else is dumb? Three and a half stars means we've done every single possible side quest we need to do to have three and a half stars. We've been to Valak Mountain. We've been fighting monsters up to level 50. All this for a prerequisite to the side quest. Ah, it's you. Very good, got something to ask you. Do you remember about the Mystical Empress? She used to be such a kind of nice monster, but something made her horrible. Tell her about Gertie. Tell, tell, tell. I think she got angry because something killed her child. I don't want to go, but it's dangerous. Now we have to kill her. We don't have to do that. She's not a bad monster. You might make you make mistakes. Some evil person killed her child. <laughs> you went to Nesty 4, but you not hurt her, do you? You're gonna understand she's angry, cause horrible person takes child. 
You understand too, right? Uh, Ricky understand. Rico would not want to hurt her. But everyone here in danger. It's sad, but can you go? So we killed her, so now we have to kill the Mystical Empress. Mystical Empress should be in the same place as before. Sorry, but we need to do it. So we actually bashed it in. Oop. We are horrible people. Besides me kind of dripping that front, in order to view all the dialogue, we must have you or in our party in order to do this. That means fighting up to fighting in the mid to upper 50s. Doing something in Valak Mountain is the very prerequisite. All that work. So you come down here thinking, oh, this must be some super difficult boss battle. We're going to still lose. Level 35. That is my main complaint because you've been doing a lot of work. And the payout is a pushover boss. It's dumb. It's stupid. It's bad game design. I hate it. It's... I just don't understand it. In fact... Yeah, it's already down. It's a pushover boss battle. You're expecting some super difficult battle? No. In fact, at this point, you might as well just walk outside, put on some, um, uh, night vision downs, and go bash some monsters around. But in all seriousness, how far are we? Okay, so monsters down here are in, are in the 70s. Level 73. We're getting there. Well, monsters been bashed. So you did it? Thank you. You're a good tell, Papachi. Sorry, bitch. Sorry, Pachapa. Pachapa like Empress too. Thank you for doing it. You're good now, know a horrible thing to do, but hopefully it can, you can rest now. So we completed that push of request. So, with that, we are all done with side quests. In fact, before going onwards, I'm going to say this now. That is going to be the last side quest. Well, we're going to go back to Fulnar because we got there's one side quest on the pickup before we head out. But, upon doing that, we have done every single side quest I want to do. I can have Ryan in this. In fact, we only have one side quest left I want to accept before going up. Because, well, we've made a long way. We're in the, mid, we're in the lower mid-60s. So yeah, we are ready set to go. So last thing's first. Last thing before we head up. Yes. Do you know Orl? Okay, yeah, yeah, I know Orlex. I want to talk to you for side quest. I don't think it's been that long since you arrived here, has it? So I'm just wondering. How how much do you know of us, Mackin' us? Uh, my molly ears. I know you lived for a very long time, not as long as the uh, God Nop on the Nop on Sage. If you wanted to find out more about us, I know just the thing. There's this memory chips containing. Records of our lives on Mekonis. They are in Mekonis fields. They should help you gain a deeper understanding of our kind. Memory chips? Sounds, some, sounds like complicated stuff. I'm interested in the Machina, but I ain't good at studying that. Aha, uh -huh, don't worry. This chip only works on the brains to recreate images in your mind. It's a lot more fun than studying. Sounds right up my street. Right, got it. We better get start looking. You... We too would be glad if you could help with the memory chips. We'd like you to retrieve the memories from those days. Find the memory chips scattered throughout the McConnell's field. Then you'd bring them back to me? Are you sure you're up to it? Hell yeah, we are. So we got history of the McConnell's. That's what we wanted to hear. I'm so glad you're interested in, in the lives of the Mackinac. No sweat, we'll get it done before you know it. So with that, we've accepted the final side quest. And upon doing that, we are all done with side questing for a long time. So, I'm going to say this now. Since this will be the last time we get side quests, I might as well mention Alchemoth's deadline is coming up. I'm all done with Alchemoth, but since, we, since the deadline is coming up, I, want, I double check to make sure we have everything done. We are done there in Alchemoth. So, yeah, we got Alchemoth done. Next up, before heading up, make sure you have all Collectopedias done in Alchemoth, Fallen Arm, not Fallen Arm, um, Sword Valley, and Galahad Fortress. Especially the latter two, since the expiration date's going to come up. 
Alternatively, you can trade with people around here. Finally, before going onwards, I'd recommend you grab 5 Heart Peaches and Alchemoth. I think we already did the trade earlier, it's like some time ago. So yeah, alternatively you can find them around Colony 6. Now is a good time to pick them up, since what you're going to need them for a side quest, and Alchemoth stuff is going to be difficult to do. So make sure you get those done. But with that... But with that... We, have, we are all done with side questing. And, might I just say, next time in Xenoblade Chronicles, we head to Mekonis. I will see you guys then.